Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. Today I'm going to be doing your yearly forecast and it's going to be very, very brief. It's going to be focused on your best assets as well as the things you need to let go of. Now, if you want a more detailed yearly forecast, you can find the video in the description box below. It's going to be covering January until December 2019. It's really affordable. It comes with a spiritual planner as well as an opportunity for you to enter a competition and potentially win a tarot card reading from me worth $99. There's also many other bonuses included, so check it out. It's in the description box below. So what is going to be your greatest strength in 2019? Your greatest strength is going to be revolving around the fact that you are going to be very, very blessed in your love life in 2019. And how you handle it, how you embrace it, it's going to be key. I feel like with this particular tarot card, your heart is going to be phenomenally blessed in 2019 and you're going to get many many wishes granted during this period of time so it's looking very bright when it comes to your love life it's looking very very positive positive i also feel like with this particular tarot card you're going to have a lot of luck on your side and you're going to be amazed at how everything is just going to fall into place so if you're going through a difficult 2018, just know that in the year 2019, it's going to be more positive for you. Now, in terms of the biggest challenge, let's have a look at that tarot card. Now, going back to this tarot card, I feel like it's talking about the fact that you need to celebrate life, no matter what you're going through. No matter if it gets difficult or challenging or there's roadblocks or whatever you're dealing with in your love life, you need to celebrate it with perspective. You need to welcome that, you know, beautiful ambience in your love life where you are living according to the moment and you're enjoying it. So even if you're having difficulties and challenges, get out there, socialize with people, celebrate life, laugh dance, enjoy yourself. Don't allow anything to get you down. This is talking about just enjoying life in general and being grateful for all the amazing things that you already have in your life. That's how you're going to, you know, have more good luck, more happiness, more joy in your life. Your biggest challenge in 2019 is going to be revolving around commitment. It's going to be revolving around you know, uh, stability. So I feel like in the year 2019, you're going to have to take it very, very easily. You're not going to have to be actively pursuing, you know, someone with the hopes of getting married because the tarot cards are telling you that your pursuit of it could be pushing it away from you. So you need to embrace all of the positivity and happiness that you have in your life. And everything will fall into place. That's the message. What should you embrace? Now for individuals that are actively looking to get married, settle down, get a commitment, you know, move in with someone. You should just allow things to be during this period of time. Because eventually 
you know, the person that you're with, if they realize that you're easygoing and that you're focused on celebrating life and just enjoying yourself, they're going to want to offer you that happiness and joy. They're going to want to offer you that stable, home, marriage, commitment. What should you embrace during this period of time? You know, I was reading an article once about a lady who went on a dating site and she met a few people and she specifically told them that she's not really looking for anything serious, she's just looking for a situation that makes her feel happy. So by some chance, a lot of people started approaching her and they were looking for serious relationships and it's it boils down to not chasing something that you want, allowing it to come to you. That's what it's about. So I feel like for some men, their guard sort of went down during that period of time. They got to know her and they found out that she was an extraordinarily amazing person. You know, she focused on enjoying herself, enjoying her life, etc. And so they realized that in terms of this female, she's really valuable and uh, they want to be in a committed and stable relationship. You know, there was also a book I was reading about when you are in a relationship with a man. If you're a guy watching this, then yeah, so it's not going to apply to you. But for the females, if you are, you know, in a situation with a guy and you're not trying to lock him down in a cage... So if you're being a little bit uh, distant, if you have your own life, if you have your own hobbies and, you know, things that you can engage with and, you know, you have your friends, etc., socializing with other people, then men will want to be in a relationship with you, in a committed relationship, because they realize that you have other things going on in your life and that your life is not revolving around them. So that's when guys start pursuing you and chasing you even more. This works. So... What should you embrace? This tarot card is telling you to embrace the fact that some relationships are not meant to be. And when you do that, you know, you can let go of certain things in your life. So I feel like if you are in a situation when you've been on and off with a person and you don't know if you're going to have a potential relationship with them, then just embrace that it's not meant to be. It's okay because you're probably meant to be with someone else and they're probably going to be better than the person that you leave behind and let go of. Nine out of ten times, you know, people, they move on with their life and they find someone even better than their previous. What should you let go of in 2019? You should let go of instability. You should let go of individuals that are not making you a priority. This means that in the year 2019, in order to have love and happiness, you cannot try to actively control it or pursue it. You have to allow for things to fall into place. You know, you need to shed and let go of individuals and people that are not making you move towards your goal of having a romantic, loving and caring relationship. If you're still communicating with your exes, etc., you're not leaving the door open to welcome that new person into your life because your mind is preoccupied with the old, with the past, you need to let go of that. And in order to have a stable and committed relationship, you can't be pursuing it. You have to allow the person that you meet to, to pursue you, to pursue the topic of marriage, commitment and stability. Because I feel like your pursuit of it is a deterrent towards potential lovers and suitors. So refrain from discussing marriage and commitment. 
get over breakups that happened in the past, let go of people that are not allowing you to focus on what you're hoping to achieve in your love life for the year 2019. So I hope you enjoyed your yearly forecast. If you want a complete breakdown from January until December 2019, you can find the link in the description box below. Make sure you enter that competition. I'm very excited to see who wins. I can't wait to announce the winner. And if you want a personal tarot card reading, you can get it at thetarotempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.